This video will show how to use the GS18T GNSS sensor that is powered by Leica Captivate. The T in the name means tilt. The Leica GS18T allows points to be measured without the need to level the bubble and hold the pole vertical. In addition, it is the world's first tilt compensating sensor which does not need to be calibrated and is immune to magnetic disturbances. This means the GS18T can measure and stake out points quicker than ever before. The video will first look at the benefits of using the GS18T over using a conventional GNSS sensor. The video will then explain how the GS18T works and how to use it for measuring or staking. Let's have a look at some of the benefits of using the GS18T. The Leica GS18T provides the fastest and most accurate measurements from any GNSS rover. The improvement in productivity is instantly recognised compared to using a conventional sensor, as the pole does not need to be levelled and held vertical for each measurement. You can measure points with incredible speed whilst maintaining accuracy. By eliminating the several seconds needed to level the pole at each measurement, you can increase your productivity of your working day by up to 20%. Without needing to level the pole, also stakeout can be done faster than ever before. With a conventional sensor, staking a point is usually a sequence of following the stake instructions, placing the pole tip down, levelling the bubble and then repeating. With the GS18T, the process is quick and easy. By following the stake instructions and watching the graphics of the pole in the 3D viewer, the pole tip can be pointed directly to the points to be staked out the first time around. Job done. With a conventional GNSS sensor, measuring some objects is difficult because the sensor obstructs the ability to physically reach the required position to measure the point. With the GS18T, the tilted pole tip position means you can accurately measure difficult to reach points that you couldn't before. For example, corners of buildings and street furniture such as light poles. You can also measure next to objects with magnetic interference such as electrical boxes, metallic fences or near to cars, meaning you can now measure everywhere on site and measure more points with less effort. With the GS18T, all measured data has an integrated quality assurance because there is no need to rely on trusting that the operator was holding the pole vertical. The tilt values for each measured point are viewable on board, or when imported into Leica Infinity, ensuring measurements traceability and complete quality reporting. Let's have a look at how the GS18T works. First of all, we need to understand how we can make a tilt compensated measurement. With a conventional GNSS sensor, coordinates are calculated to the antenna within the sensor and then the position is projected vertically down by the entered antenna height. The pole tip only represents the true measured position when the pole is perfectly levelled and vertical. With the GS18T, the sensor measures exactly how the pole is tilted, the amount of tilt and the tilt direction. The initial position is projected along the pole length to the pole tip meaning that the pole tip always represents the true measured position, whichever way it is tilted. All other tilt compensating GNSS sensors which are available in the market use a magnetometer to determine the tilt direction. The magnetometers used in these products are similar to those found in regular smartphones, where they are used for example to show the compass direction. The problem with using a magnetometer to determine the tilt direction is that they need to be calibrated frequently and are vulnerable to magnetic disturbances close to electromagnetic fields or ferromagnetic materials such as metal or reinforced concrete. The result is inaccurate and unreliable tilt direction readings which for a GNSS sensor leads to positioning errors of tens of centimeters. The GS18T is the world's first tilt compensating GNSS sensor that does not use a magnetometer to determine the tilt direction. Instead, it uses an inertial base approach using an IMU developed specifically for surveying applications. This approach means the GS18T is calibration free and immune from magnetic disturbances, 
which in turn means that it is ready to work straight away and can be used anywhere on site. Let's see how to set up and use the GS18T. Attach the CS controller and GNSS sensor to the pole and ensure the sensor interface is aligned with the controller by adjusting the controller bracket on the pole. To make tilt compensated measurements, the IMU needs initialising. This is easy. With an RTK or SmartLink fixed position, simply walk to the first point to be measured or staked. The initialization will happen automatically during this movement. The measurements are being tilt compensated when the position icon within the status bar in Leica Captivate is showing a green bubble. The tilt indicator on the sensor will also show green. As you move about during the survey, the normal movement ensures that the GS18T continues providing a tilt compensated position. If the GS18T sensor stops moving, for more than about half a minute or so, the tilt compensation will be stopped. This is shown by the position icon in Leica Captivate losing the green bubble. The tilt indicator will also switch to red. The GS18T is no longer providing a tilt compensated position. If it is wanted to now measure a point, there is no need to change any settings. Simply level the pole to vertical using the standard pole bubble and measure the point. To start the tilt compensation again, all it is needed to do is walk to the next point to be measured. With tilt compensation and no need to hold the pole vertical, measuring points is really fast and accurate. For maximum productivity, choose to stop the measurement instantaneously and to automatically store the point. The GS18T has no limitation to the amount that the pole can be tilted. However, it should be noted that the top of the antenna still needs to face the GNSS satellites in order to maintain a good position quality. The position quality values in Captivate take into account both the GNSS position quality and the tilt quality combined into one quality value. The current tilt values can be seen by accessing the current GS position status and going to the tilt page. Here the current tilt values and the quality are shown. The tilt values stored with any measured point can be seen by editing the point and pressing more. These values can also be seen by exporting the data using a style sheet to generate a quality report or by transferring the data to Leica Infinity. It may sometimes be useful to measure points by levelling the pole in the conventional way for example, to conform to local regulations. This is possible by accessing the GS sensor settings to find the tilt compensation settings and set use tilt compensator to off. Now when measuring points, the tilt compensation status will appear off on the LED indicator and software icon and the pole must now be leveled in order to make measurements. Staking with the GS18T is faster than ever. There is no need to watch the level bubble anymore, whilst at the same time trying to follow the stake instructions and move the pole into position. Harnessing the power of the 3D viewer, the exact position and tilt of the pole is seen live within the data. The whole scene is updated as you turn around. To stake the next point, simply follow the direction of the arrow. Once you are within half a metre of the point, use the graphics to aim the virtual pole tip directly to the bullseye centre. The actual pole tip will then land precisely where the point is to be staked out, the first time around. We have seen in this video the benefits of using the GS18T, seen how it works and how to measure and stake effectively with it. Thanks for watching.